Hello and welcome to another video. This one is a what is on well what's on my iPhone 5s video. And to help me record this, I am using an app called Reflector, which you can download. Um, you can download it for Mac or PC, and it works with your iPhone, your iPod, your iPad, um, and also now Android devices. The only thing. The only snag with it is that it doesn't allow you to record audio, so I'm having to use the um, voice memo app on my iPhone, as you can see there. <laughs> um, but what I'll do is I'll add this voiceover onto the video um, in iMovie. So, yeah, let's get cracking then. So I'll go unlock my phone. And we are welcomed with the home screen. Now, the way that the home screen is set out in front of you is not the original setup that Apple has it set up with uh, when you first set up the, your iPhone. Um, I'm kind of OCD in the sense that I set up, I organise the icons in my own order. So... Obviously, the dock at the bottom is my most used app, so Messages, Mail, Safari and Camera are my most used apps. But then, as well as organising them in, you know, how I use them the most, I try and bunch them together as much as I can. So you'll see Camera there on the bottom right, but then the next icon on the top left is Photos. So they kind of go together. You take, you know, you take a picture with the camera and then it's there in Photos. The same with Phone and then FaceTime, uh, Notes and then Reminders, they're, they're similar. Um, so I kind of kind of set things out like that. Um, yeah, uh, I use notes a lot. Notes is notes is a, is handy for me. Um, I take a lot of photos on my iPhone. I've always got apps to update. I'm a big app junkie, and I've just recently gone through and actually removed a lot of apps that eat, might be cool, but I don't use them, um, and I need to clear them out. I've got just over 17 gig left. On this 64 gig iPhone, so I'm not doing too bad. Now, this little folder here called Extras is the other apps that I couldn't fit onto this one home screen. Um, so that's those. Tips is a cool little app for little for tips on how to use um, on your uh, as how to use different things on your iPhone. And there's 38 of them at the minute, but yeah, you can see there's a whole list of them there, look. So that's a cool app that you can use. Also, with the iOS 8.2 update, you do receive this Apple Watch app. Um, good afternoon, look, there you go. You can pair your Apple Watch. You can explore different videos on it. Uh, or you can look at download the apps for it, but obviously that has, that isn't there yet because uh, Apple Watch isn't here yet. Uh, what other apps do I use on the home screen? Mail, uh, uh, messages, I, I, I'm constantly texting, whether it's texting or iMessaging, constantly. Um, I get a lot of mail throughout the day, so that's, you know, I always need to check up on mail. I'm always browsing, whether it's at home, on the Wi-Fi, or out and about. Camera, like I said, I take a lot of photos. Um, music, uh, don't listen to as much music as I used to, but it's still there. And uh, that's about it, really. Yeah. But... Um, control center, there you go, and uh, there we have um, a notification center. Uh, yeah, I have photo frame. Yeah, I do like I do like my widgets. So I've got you know photo frame there, and um, with a couple of select photos I put in there, I can get up to ten, I think. And then I've got reminders there, which gives you a little quote. My Mac ID connected devices, I'll show you that in a little while. Two calendars, countdowns, uh, battery, two battery things there. I've um, got six hours left on 27%. Memory and disk usage, um, a network monitor, currency converter. And as you can see, look, the little the little logos next to each name is the same. And that's they all came in one app, which was, which was really handy. Currency converter, calculator, an iTranslate app. Um, oh, uh, Dropbox there, Buffer, 
Twitch. I need to start doing some Twitch videos, actually. Um, a LinkedIn thing there to see who's been viewing your profile. News Digest, Time Zones, Stocks, um, Authy, Tomorrow. And um, I did have a, a spare one, another one I haven't added yet. WordPress I haven't added yet um, because, once again, I organise all of these as well. Um, I I I, I customise as much as I can on my iPhone. So and then obviously I've got notifications uh, on the other side there, but you don't get to see those. <laughs> um, next page, Ta da! And let me tell you about this. So you'll see here each folder. Each folder is in alphabetical order. Now, in the folders, so let's say for example we'll go to social social networking. You'll see that each app is in alphabetical order from B to C D F G H J K L M P S T T W they're all alphabeticalized <laughs> so each folder is alphabeticalized and each app inside the folder is alphabeticalized as well and yeah the way that I organise the apps into folders is, for example, Twitter. Twitter is, if you went onto the App Store, went on Twitter, you would see that the category for Twitter is social networking. Therefore, it goes into social networking. Um, Instagram, what well, you will find, it will be photo and video. Oh, or is it photography? I can't remember, but I've created... Pho that was a bad example. <laughs> um... Uh, 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 Gmail is productivity, so it goes in productivity. You see how it is. Um, I'm not going to go through everything. I'll just go through, uh, through a few. So I've got my books there, um, business. There's a couple of business apps there. Facebook pages there. Um, education, Code Academy, it's learning a bit of code there. Um, entertainment. Dead yourself is to make yourself look like a zombie. Life Counter is a good app for for if you're playing Magic the Gathering. I've got Netflix on there, um, Steam, Twitch, Zedge. Zedge is good for wallpapers and whatnot. A Worms F F SFX board. Uh, finance got my banking apps there, very important. Um, food and drink, diabetes recipe. That app there is good for for me. Obviously, with being diabetic. And just eat. <laughs> How ironic. Oh, I can check what I'm allowed to eat, but then I'm going to order a pizza. Um, I tend to use my iPhone for more apps than games. Um, but I do have the few, a few odd few games on here. Whereas I use my iPad more for gaming. And I've got a few apps. But 8-Ball Pool. Because uh, I, I play online and with my family and friends a lot on that. Black Cards is like an addition to um, Cards Against Humanity. Decked is... It's another game for, well, more of an app, really, but it's classed as a game for Magic the Gathering. Game of Thrones, got that on my iPad as well. My main game's on my iPad, but I needed a secondary game for my... Uh, to carry on with the story. Then I've got Halo Waypoint. Heads Up is more of a party game, um, and it's easier to use on my, on, a, on a phone than it is a, a tablet. And Xbox Smart Glass to control my uh, 360. Health and Fitness, because health and fitness is, uh, is important nowadays. Um... The first three apps I use a hell of a lot, and then I've got Zombies Run at the bottom, which is a it's a great app for when you're out and about, and uh, you can. It, it's a bit like uh, you have your earphones in, and it, it's like you've got it's like zombies are, are coming after you and stuff like that. Um, you get different stories and and and, and whatnot, and it's, uh, it's it's a really neat app. Uh, after that comes Lifestyle, so you got all your shopping apps there, um, Geek. Is a oh, it's a bloody great app. It's powered by Wish, which is a, another app that I, I do have. And uh, if you look at the top, look smartwatches, Android speakers, HD projectors, blah blah blah. Oh, and then game controllers and stuff like that. It's iPhone look. It's it's all for the, that inner geek. And then, like I said, um, Wish is Wish is Wish is there, which is um, kind of the daddy app. And then that's kind of the same thing but for just more general stuff as well. They're, they are fantastic apps. Uh, music. Music is great. Got my Spotify there. Kerrang Radio. They're all wonderful. Um, Mac Hash is a... Oh, it's a great, great app for all your Apple news um, and such things. You get all your different 
websites and stuff down here you could possibly need. So I like to check up that once a day. Uh, Yahoo News Digest gives me it twice a day. That's that's also great. Um, what else have I got? Photo and video. I've got all my photo and photo edit editing apps here. Um, got my Instagram. Um, I don't troll Instagram as much as I used to, but it's still there for when I feel like putting a photo up or having a look. Um, Pano Perfect is good for panoramas. You can upload them and, and see other people's. Capture is for YouTube video making. Um, studio is to see all your different YouTube video information. Um, Vine, I do like I do like a good Vine. I do like to make my vines. Productivity, one password. I can't can't go on that. Well, I can. I can show you. This is. I'm not going into it, but I can show you that. Um, <laughs> but it's it's for all your passwords and and logins and stuff like that. And it's it's one of the best apps I've got. As is clear here. Here, clear, and it's a to-do list app, but I use it constantly, and um, look like to do things, all my different things I've got to to do, stuff like YouTube videos I want to make, and then, and and such things, things that Hannah is things I'm you know thinking of buying her and all stuff like that. It's a great great app. Duet is um oh, is something it says they connect a map, and what it is, is um. I connect my iPad to my MacBook via the lightning cable and I can use my iPad as a secondary display um, moving things across and whatnot and it's oh, it's fantastic. InstaShare is wonderful as well um, transferring things from your iOS devices to your MacBook or vice versa. Um, screenshots is a good app. Screenshots, you take a screenshot, it gets loaded into there for easy access and it organizes them from where you took that screenshot. Uh, references, social network, you've got your Facebook, Gift Boom for making them GIFs, um, Crowdfire for seeing who's been uh, unfollowing you and on Twitter and Instagram and, and such things. I've started using Google Plus a lot more now as well. Good old BBM, I kept it just because I've been nostalgic. Um, Twitter, Tumblr, I like to use those a lot. Just started using WordPress. Um, yeah, that's about it. I tend to Skype a lot, but on my iPad. And uh, I'm partial to uh, doing a bit of Pinteresting as well. Sport, just keeping up with my football and basketball there. Travel, no, general travel apps, not a lot on there to be fair. And then utilities, two auth auth uh, authenticator apps there. Um, my Wow Armory, I don't know if that'll load up actually. I'll show you my dude on Wow. No, no. It's because I've, I've changed bits from, from before I used it last. Um... Yeah, battery battery is a good app that I I I, I got the other week. Um, it shows you all kind of it all shows you all kind of things, which which is which is nice. Seventeen point five gig is what I've got left. I've got countdowns, which is a basic countdown app. Geekbench three, I won't run that because it takes uh, like over two minutes. Uh, my gift gaff Mac ID, I won't open that. Well, I don't know what will happen. Let's see. Nice and pink. Oh. Look, Mac and Cheesebook Pro, which is mine, and basically what Mac ID does is it allows you to unlock your MacBook with your fingerprint, with your Touch ID sensor. So anything with a Touch ID sensor, you can unlock your MacBook once you've set it up, and it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. QR reader there comes in handy. Um, tap boost is to just clear your RAM. <laughs> Recommend to use it before playing games, but I do it now and again anyway. There you go. And then it exits itself. Like, how bloody fantastic is that? Um, and then widgets, which is, like I said earlier, um, it's a bunch of widgets that you can add to your notification center. And that's it. Um, that's that's what I've got on my iPhone. Nothing more to it, really. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I organize these things myself. And... Um, I like to keep things nice and neat and I have my way of doing them and that's about it really. It's just, yeah. Like I said, I, I have more apps on here than games, but as you'll see on, um, as you'll see on my iPad when I do my what's on my iPad, um, you will see then, uh, you'll see 
what I've got on my iPad. Um, you'll see the more games and and stuff like that. Also, gonna record uh, what's on my Mac, so I'll get that done. And then after that, I've got some app reviews which I want to do. Um, not necessarily more so apps on my MacBook than. Um, my iPhone and my iPad, but there will be some on all three. So that's going to do it for today. Um, oh, one other thing, I hate notification badges. Like, like I try and get rid of them. I could just turn them off, but then obviously I wouldn't know. But, but yeah, they're just annoying. Anyway, I'm going to head off now and stick my audio with this video and see how things go. Hopefully you've watched this. Uh, hopefully it's been kind of intriguing to see what other people have got on their iDevices. Let me know if you uh, see any apps that you want to know inf any more information on. Or you can just go ahead and download them yourselves. And let me know if you've recorded a what's on my iPhone, iPod, iPad, MacBook video. Uh, send me the link. I'd love to watch it because I like watching them as well. So thank you for watching. I've been Ash. You've been fantastic. And uh, I shall see you in the next video. See ya.